I am my sunshine, my only sunshine. I make me happy when times are sad. Just a little jibber jabber, okay? You know, there's some really stupid eBay sellers and buyers. I've been trying to sell a lot on eBay right now because I'm having some financial difficulties after breaking my neck four months ago. Doing pretty good on that now. Real lucked out. And, uh, and just, you know, shortcomings of money then. Luckily, I had my mom's place crash out here for a few months. Basically, the winter I'm hunkering down for in a small town of 10,000, less than 10,000 people, and hardly any jobs. So that's been frustrating. And uh, so I'm trying to get some money together to not only to hit the road and try to get settled, started again, but to replace a special smart device. God, I hate that term, but it's better than advertising for this one particular annoying, huge, multi-global corporation that uh, charges way too much for their crap, and they know it. People just put up with it. But yeah, on eBay, and uh, you'll go on eBay, and you'll you'll see these descriptions of things, and sometimes people won't even put any description of the item up. They won't have an actual picture of the item. They'll have some, uh, some stock picture that eBay supplies for them. And then when you ask them questions about it, they don't even respond. And people still bid with these people. And some of them have like no selling record, zero sales. And people bid, bid with them. Anyways, I just don't even, I don't even, re I, get, I just don't, re I don't bid at all. I don't give them the time of day. And a matter of fact, sometimes I send them a message like, are you kidding me? You expect me to bid on something when you can't even answer a simple question? I mean, I always answer questions that people give me. Same thing with selling. I, I, when I tried to sell my $350 Bose headphones that I only use for a couple months and they have one small wear mark on the headband part, uh, I was t totally honest about that, took pictures, described everything about it, you know. And then this lady and a couple other people were were questioning my, the, authentic, the authenticity of it, saying, how do, how, do, how do I know this real? Prove it to me? Question mark and all this stuff. What do you mean prove it to you? Fucking receipts and want me a video of me going into the store and paying for it? Fuck off. And meanwhile, they believe all, they believe all these other people that say, "Oh, my wife only used this on a plane flight for two hours, barely even, just like new." I opened it out of the box, tried it once, and didn't use it. And, and they they eat that shit up and they buy it. It's just fucking lame. And this one guy that was saying all this crap, even though he had a bunch of good seller reviews, so he probably was a good seller, but. uh I was the only person when I put these Bose headphones up to turn the power on. I like to turn power on on devices because some people are so stupid on electronic devices they don't even show it on, which makes no sense to me. So I write up this thing like, I can't believe you people. I got all aggro and I wrote, and my, I changed my description. I was like, are you kidding me? You people believe all these liars, people that are either lying or highly exaggerating to you with these stories of, oh, my wife only used this twice. I only used this on three plane flights. It's crap like that. But yet, when a person like me is honest, you won't believe that? That's what I was saying. I'm like, look at me. I'm the only one who showed the thing on out of every picture I've seen out of the 30 listings here for this device that actually has it on. And then all of a sudden, this same guy from Texas that was selling, the one that said, oh, my wife only used this twice, perfectly brand new, uh, he has like five pictures of it on with turned on and he's stressing, look, I turned it on, look, it's on, it's working. And he has it like in the dark, with, you can see the power button on, totally copying me. And then this asshole sells it for like $277. So I ended up selling mine for $200. And uh, the guy I sent it to, he was nice enough and all, now he wants a fucking refund. So I was all psyched, I needed to get this new smart device for like $250, not even new, that's a used price if I'm lucky. So I had an extra 200 towards that. And the guy wants to return because his wife doesn't want him to keep it because she said there's a mark on it and she wants to give it as a new Christmas present. She's buying used stuff off the eBay to give as new presents. So anyways, the guy was nice enough. He's, he's shipping it back, I haven't got it yet. But he, he volunteered to pay for the shipping and I was gonna pay for the return shipping as well. 
which meant, meant I'm out $25 in shipping. I have like 300 bucks to my name, period. And I lose $25 on an eBay sale that I have to pay again to repost. But the guy said he was like, the least he could do was pay for his shipping, which is what you're supposed to do. So I might take him up on that, actually. Because even though my pictures were dim and kind of crappy and dark because of the, the phone I had was really bad, and uh, you could still see it. I realized this later. I was like, yeah, maybe you're right. I guess the pictures were too dark. But then upon looking at it, I'm like, no, you can see it. You can see the wear mark right there. Zoom in on the picture. It's right there. So, whatever. Yeah, just eBay shit. It's so stupid. You get all these... Blade, I hate all these sites. You get these mass-produced wholesale guys that, and pawn shops that buy all this used crap and refurbish it. They always say, sell or refurbish. Thoroughly clean. All they do is wipe it off with a, with a, a rag and some window cleaner and then call it refurbished. Just like new. They're assholes. And then they take stock pictures. They don't even take a picture of the actual item. It, they, they all have stock pictures they use. And you ask them if, you can sh if you, they can take a picture of the actual item. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry, it's already off at the shipping warehouse. I'm thinking to myself, oh, it's already off at the shipping warehouse, even though you don't know it's still up for sale for two weeks. You don't know who, where the buyer actually lives because nobody's purchased it yet. Interesting. So, you know, I just don't trust all that. It's kind of been suck-ass on eBay with that. At first I was having good luck, and then I don't have enough seller reviews. And there's other sellers that you sometimes you send messages to. They give you absolutely no response, period, about if they like the device, if they're happy with it, and they don't even leave you a review that you need to sell other stuff to other people. There's one guy in this coastal town near where I stayed for the summer, Another coastal town, and I tried to chat about them. Oh, interesting, you're from so-and-so. Oh, yeah, I was just in so-and-so down the road. From so no response, no nothing. Never never, never gave me a review, negative or bad. Just left it at that. So, yeah, it's been fucking annoying. It just all comes down to money in the end. But the stupid crap you have to deal with. And then you have to go to some shit job and deal with another, more morons, just like the eBay people, except at your work environment and your managers and supervisors. Like my last dishwashing job at, the, at that coast town I was talking about for the summer. <laughs> there was like more managers and supervisors than there was actual employees. 70% of the people there, that worked there were managers and supervisors. It's, it's like a corporate pressure technique to try to get people to ride each other's ass. It was fucking was horrible. I was busting my ass for minimum wage, 8.50 an hour. Literally, my back would be killing me, my feet and legs. And I'm not that out of shape. It was just hard grunt work. And you had to, out, you had to like run errands for the cooks, grab them stuff out of the walk, and they'd yell at you too. Fries online. Super sauce online. Salad online. Salad online. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> And these guys, these assholes yelling at you, they think they're, and they're like 15 years younger than me in a lot of cases. They're yelling at you for all this shit. And then they get tipped out by the wage staff. They get like, oh, thanks for the great job. Here's 10, 20 bucks for helping us out. And you don't get shit, the dishwasher. That's how shit is all the time. It's fucking annoying. Here comes some loud rednecks. That's how this town is. It's all trucks and loud fuckers throwing garbage all over the ground. Ah! Fuck you! yell at people. Yeah, that's right. I do that to high school kids because fuck them. I was never a dick like that. People get their jollies off on yelling at you out of their car when you're going down the street. Happens a lot in small towns. <gasps> I scared them. <laughs> and you see them, then you catch up to them like me and my brother used to do when we were cyclists. People do that shit to you. Yell at you on your bike trying to scare you like right on the side of the road. You know, then you catch them at a light about two miles later, you sneak up on them, you're like, ah, in their window, and they're like, oh, holy shit, oh, hey, man, I'm just kidding. Oh, I didn't know. And people out there are saying, they're just kids. Yeah, they are just kids, or just assholes, but still, fuck them. There's a thing called karma, and they're going to receive. It's like when I was in, uh, when I was in Colorado, there was, there was this slow redneck guy from Alabama, 
there was this whole family of these total fucking rednecks, shit ass trucks and you know all the car parts hanging out of the back of their truck and generators and shit. Sweet home Alabama, big ass fucking guts, long ass, goddamn. But ding 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 ding. Straight up, uh, what's that? That, that movie? You know, everybody knows them. Squeal like a pig movie. Deliverance, yeah, straight up deliverance, man. And so I'm trying to, I go in there, I walk. This guy gets fucking cut. He sees me walking, goes right in front of me and starts waddling. And I'm in a fucking hurry. I had like a age, a severe bathroom issue or something. So I fucking dart around him really quick. I'm like, <laughs> go around him, just fucking aggro, walking. And he says some kind of shit to me. I mean, I, I look back at him, I'm like, yeah, you're, you're pretty slow, aren't you? You got right in front of me. He's like, what the fuck did you say to me? All this shit. <laughs> and then he's like, and he's like, you best not be going to the bathroom. And all this shit, because I was walking towards the bathroom. I was actually going to the water fountain, but I thought about going in the bathroom then. be like, fuck you, what can you do about it? He had like a knife on his side too, like a hunting knife. So I, I kind of like...